Atiala group fingered in the incident that happened at Abuliadu. This claim was made by the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, Namdekano, in a post on the microblogging site Twitter. Pipeline explosion rocked Abuliadu and festered part of Lagos on Sunday morning, March 15th. Parts of Abuliadu in Amu World of in local government area along Badagri Maitu Expressway, Lagos, Nigeria's commercial city, were affected by pipeline explosion which occurred at about 8 a.m. The explosion in its wake left many dead and several injured. Properties worth billions of naira were also destroyed. Reacting to the Lagos explosion in a tweet, Kano said, Nigeria territories activities have become a norm. No outcry for the bombing of Abule Adu Trade Fair, Lagos by Miyeti Yala, was world's fourth deadly terrorist group. Join me via Radio Biafra, Facebook, FM, app, satellite and online dates. Online date is on 22nd of March 2020. Time is 7 p.m. It tweeted, Nigeria terrorist activities have become numb. No outcry for the bombing of Abule Adu Trade Fair. Lagos by BAC Hala. Hmm. Afemi Kanu's tweet Chief Jimo Adegbeji, the ballet of Soba Town, the community where the, when an explosion occurred last Sunday in Lagos, and also a member of the committee set up on the incident in an interview with Sunday Vanguard, said what happened in Abuliadu was a bomb attack. Asked how he received the news, the ballet said. I didn't receive any news. I was an eyewitness. When I heard the bomb explosion, everybody ran out. On why he described the explosion at Abule Adu as a bomb explosion, he said, yes, it was a bomb explosion because the sound was so loud that even those in Badagri heard it. It was only one explosion, but the level of damages was unimaginable. If it was more than one, the whole of Amu World of him would have been brought down. Speaking on the casualties of the unfortunate incident, the ballet said, For now, officials are saying 20 persons, but I believe they are more than that. We are yet to confirm and we, we still have casualties in hospitals. Hmm. So guys, uh, this uh, issue of uh, Abulia Abule do stuff, the incident that happened there, you know, people have been saying many things, different things. Those uh, uh, those who are experts, those who are, those who are not experts, those who witness the whole thing just exactly like this ballet. You know, they complained, they made their own submission of what happened, not that what they heard concerning him. He said, no, it is not that uh, how did he receive it, that he was there, life and direct, that everybody came out. Some people were like, oh, it was the pipeline, this and that. Some people know that the pipeline uh, is intact and what have you. Up till now, how long, how many days is it going to take them for them to find out what really happened? What really happened? Some were giving testimonies that, oh, that a, a, a what is it called? Tipper was parked there and the driver came out and as soon as he left, and that was it. And some people were like, oh, if it were to be a uh, bomb, it would just be stationed in a place. Some people were like, oh, it's an explosion from the pipeline. And that was why the impact was felt like that. But whichever way, let the government tell us what happens. I don't know why all of these things, whether that is how it, it takes time for them to just ascertain what really happened at a particular time. Why the, 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 the delay in most of the things that we are all to have done immediately. But you could remember when the Oshomole case, when the first court said, oh, it was suspended. The second day, another court again, they quickly arranged it. You know, before you know it, when it comes to something that will favor all these politicians, they will, they will, they will speed up so everything just that so that it will come out but when it comes to what will benefit masses the truth that needs that needs to be known or to be told by uh, to, to people yet they will be pussyfooting about it because they know what they are talking about in, in a country like this up to now nobody knows the actual thing that really happened i don't just understand i don't understand and up to now some were making the excuses for the president that he did not go and visit the the place he took the governor to take the pictures of what happened to him. How how is that done? I don't know. The way we we, we reference leaders in this country, in this country, when people are doing wrong thing, they will not be able to confront them. What kind of a what kind of what kind of a I don't know what kind of idea is that?
What kind of culture is that? That somebody, because somebody is a, a, a is your boss, you don't have the right, even when the person is making mistake that will be detrimental to you, you don't have the right to tell the person. Even if you want to tell the person respectfully, they, they, they feel it is not right for you to just say it. Whatever you know should just die within you. You shouldn't just say it. To say the truth is, is, is costly in this country. In this our environment, it's costly to say the truth. I don't just know why. As if that was not enough. People talk, talk here and there. Some people see, came for the defense. Up to now, what happened in Delta State? The, the, the president could not even send. Of course, that is the usual thing. Why are all of these things happening? And nobody, you know, seem, seem to look, see, it, you know, that it's really a trouble or a problem that we have at our hands. It's becoming, becoming normal. Normal. Just like Enamdi Kano said, normal. Of course, uh, uh, yeah, thank God for the other man, the ballet that was saying, oh, it happened, that he saw it, that nobody didn't receive anything, nobody told him. He came out and saw what happened. That if the government wants to debunk it or they say, oh, it is other, it's other way around, it's the other way around, let them tell us the truth of the matter. How long will it take? People are suffering in the hospital. A lot of people have died. A lot of people have lost their, their what they have worked for in their entire life. What kind of a country are we? People who hate, who love, who love to say the truth. So people who hate truth, but they love lies. If it is the other way around, let them tell us. How long is it going to take? Let them tell us. It's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. People will still come and make excuses. Oh, the happenings in the country concerning this, uh, 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 what, what did they call them? Esme. They will tell you it's not Esme. It is not Esme. But recently we saw what they even confirmed. They were telling, telling us before now that these people don't usually carry uh, uh ak-47 they don't usually do that they go with their six but now it's the evidence when people always say we saw these people we see them we we, we have a, an encounter with them on how they operate they will tell you you don't know what you're talking about a typical example uh a good example was what happened in anambra state that the Mieti hala the the, the the Fulani group came out and supported their people carrying ak-47 because they caught them and they told the people that you can do your worst what evidence do we need again that they carry those things, they seek and uh, affirm it, that they carry all of those things to protect themselves. And so, how do we justify those who have been saying they don't go with all, all this AK-47? And they are residents in that place. They are residents in that place. The Mieti Allah group or the Fulani leaders there could not even say, oh, these people, we don't know them. We don't have any connection with them, whether they came from outside the country. No, they didn't say that. They just told them and they walked out on them. So what evidence do you need? And people have been saying this for a very long time. They would say, you know, don't just bother. People are just making it up. People are just making it up. But it happened that they up to now. What happened? Tell me whether those boys have been arrested. Tell me whether they've told us the outcome of the whole thing. Meaning those guys are still with their gun. They, the police ought to have told us because it was in the presence of the police that this Mieti Allah group walked out on the stakeholders in Anambra State. Who is talking about this? No. Even all these ones that uh, Namde Kano is saying, he has been saying it before now. Now it's happening and nobody's saying anything. Nobody's saying anything. How long is it going to take them to be able to find out what exactly happened as that Abulia do? Who, who is going to tell us? Everything will still be swept under the carpet. Unfortunately, people's lives are going in for this day in, day out. Someone says people are just beginning to understand what I told them on this platform that they that day of, a, of the explosion, that it was bomb explosion, not pipeline. Or gas as speculated by the government. And it was targeted at the Igbos because the residents and house owners of that area are predominantly Igbo from southeast and south-south of Nigeria. Permit me here to also say that more of the attacks are coming if nothing is done now, not later. Please don't set Nigeria ablaze. Cross-check your fast way before you write. Someone says, did you hear any message from presidency? Because it is your brother's plus. Finally, the truth has been let out of the bag. Fulanis feels that they have defeated Igbo in the, in the Biafra War. Ended January 1970. Now it is the turn of the Yoruba people to be defeated and humbled for total victory to possess Nigeria as Fulani Islamic Republic of Nigeria. Follow, follow. Politicians will be humiliated after betraying their people. Of course, follow, follow. That is what they, that is what they, what that is their name. Follow, follow. 
And that is exactly what they are. Follow, follow. Hmm. Someone says, this is pure atomic bomb planted beside the pipeline. It is only food. Uh, we say it is pipeline explosion. Please don't put us in confusion with your lie. No, go and ask uh, the people. Go and ask the residents in that place. Let them tell you what happened. Of course, if Nam they can is lying, what of the ballet? What of the ballet? Apart from the ballet, we've been hearing uh, contradictory uh, uh, opinions or contradictory uh, uh, submission concerning this. The incident that happened in the Delta State, they will still tell us it is a it is lie that it is lie it is a lie that it it, it it did not happen that people are making it up. Those who are supporting, I hope it will get to you. Once it get to you, then you will have mouth to talk because you don't have human feelings for other people. What is happening in this country? What is happening that people cannot just say the truth because it has not reached you unless you are part of the people. And if you are part of the people, and or you are just defending what is not not having human feelings, it will get to you. It's not by cause. It will get to you. It will get to you because you don't have woman feelings. People who have woman feelings will not be speaking in this manner. How long is it going to take for them to tell us what really happened? They will sweep everything under the carpet. Everything is light. But we see the, the operation, the activities of the uh, Fulani Hesme now in the country, all over the place. And they've been saying this thing before now. They will still tell you, oh, the person that was making that statement was trying to incite the whole place, was trying to incite the people, was trying to cause confusion. But now it's happening here, right here and here. Now, they are sitting, it is not so. God will, posterity will judge all of those who are involved in these evil activities. 